Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how the replay system in Unreal Engine works. It works thanks to this system, basically the demo net driver, along with these things called streamers. There are different types of streamers, and the streamers basically record the information back. There are things like the local file streamer, so that would be used for single player game recording. And then there's also stuff like the memory streamer, which is for stuff like if you've ever played Call of Duty, the kill cam system. Um, and then there's the HTTP streamer as well, which lets you send the replays over the internet. So today we're just going to use the replay system to record some gameplay and then play it back. This video is sponsored by the Unreal Engine C++ Survival Game course. In the course I show you how to make an online open world survival game from scratch in C++ and host it on Steam so you can play it with other people. I show you how to do everything from installing the tools to creating an inventory system, equipable clothing, weapons and vehicles, and tons of other stuff. The course comes with over $1,000 in assets alone, and you can get it now on my Patreon for $25. You do get lifetime access even if you cancel. So if you're interested, the link is in the description below, and enjoy the video. We're going to start by going to the Unreal Project Browser. We're going to make a C++ class, and then go to First Person. You could technically do this with Blueprint, although it's uh, better exposed to C++ for sure. And what we're going to do is we're going to just call this project replays. So the first thing to mention is that this whole system works thanks to this thing called the demo net driver. It's basically a fake net driver and its only purpose is for recording traffic. What this means is that when you watch your gameplay back, you will only see stuff that is replicated. So if your gameplay is not networked properly, you're not going to see it on the playback. For example, say that I shoot a bullet and I don't replicate that to other players. When I watch the replay, I won't actually see the bullet be shot. So it's important that anything you want to show up on the replay needs to be networked. In C++, recording gameplay takes place in the game instance. So to access the game instance, we're going to show the sources panel here. Go to C++ classes and then go to new C++ class. We're then going to search for the game instance class, select it, and I'm going to call this replay game instance, and then we'll click on create class. I think they use the game instance because the game instance is a class that is persistent. Um, basically, it always exists even if you change levels, so I think that just makes it a good fit for the uh, replay system to be inside. Okay, to get started inside of our replay game instance, we're going to add three functions and two variables. Uh, all of it's quite straightforward and easy to follow. Basically, we have a name. This is the name that we're saving our recording under. We're going to have this friendly recording name. So this is a name that you might display on, say, some UI if you wanted to show the user their recordings. And then we're going to have a start recording, stop recording, and start replay function. We're also going to implement a constructor, so I'm just going to say u replay game instance and then implement my constructor and then I'm going to go through and implement all of these functions as well. In the constructor we'll just set a couple of values. I'm going to call my recording my replay and then the friendly name is just my replay with the space and what we're going to do is we're going to say start recording replay and we don't need any URL options. I'll explain what that is in a sec. So basically inside of the game instance, there's just this function that you need to call and this will actually start recording. This is not exposed to blueprints, so you need to call this from C++. And uh, start replay is uh, another function, basically just play replay. It's the same thing, it's just inside of the game instance. And then we have this stop recording replay function as well. Now I'm going to show you, there's actually these URL options that you can pass in as well. And an example of where you might want to use these is to change the streamer. So as we went over before, there's plenty of different types of streamers. And if you wanted to use a different type of streamer, then you could, for example, say URL options. And then you want to set the replay streamer override to whatever streamer you want to use. And then you could go ahead and pass that in as a URL option. And now it's gonna use a different streamer. Personally, um, I haven't played around with the different streamers because they're not very well supported. But if you just leave it as the defaults, the default streamer is the local file streamer. So it's just gonna save the recording to your local hard drive on your computer. We're gonna go ahead and run a local Windows debugger and then we'll see if this code works. So let's hook up our recording functions now. I'm going to go to first person CVP, open up my character blueprint, 
And then I'm just going to type 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to say that when you press 1, we want to actually start recording. You will need to get the game instance and then cast it to our replay game instance that we created. And then from there we have our start recording function. Next we're going to do the same for stopping recording. So we're just going to drag out and type stop recording. And then lastly, pressing the 3 key on your keyboard is going to actually play back that recording that we just took. So we're going to connect this up here. And this time we're just going to start the replay. Now, this is not going to work unless we tell Unreal Engine that we actually want to use this new game instance that we have created. So to do that, we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings, All Settings, and then if you search for Instance, there's this Game Instance class, and we want to just change it to that custom one that we made. Let's make sure that we can see projectiles in the recording. To do this, we're going to open up First Person Projectile. We're going to go to the Replicate Movement option, turn that on. And we're going to turn the replicates option on as well. And basically I'm just going to play the game. I'm going to press 1 on my keyboard. I'm going to shoot a bunch of times. And just run around. And now I'm going to press 2 to stop recording. And I'm going to press 3 to play my recording back. It might take a little while to load, but you then spawn in. And you can see me shooting projectiles. The only problem with this is that uh, you can't see my player. And this is because it's treating it like a networked client when we watch it back. The problem is, if we open up the character here, you can see that the character's arms are actually only set to be seen by the owner. If you search for owner, you can see it says only owner C. So all we have to do is just turn that off. Compile and save. And now I'm going to press 1. I'm going to run around, shoot some bullets. Then I'm going to press 2. And then I'm going to press 3. And you can see, now we can see my guy actually running around the level. What if we want to scrub through the footage, right? What if I want to play back at a slower speed or, you know, restart the recording, stuff like that? How do I do that? Well, the answer lies in the demo net driver that's actually playing back the footage. So let's take a look at the demo net driver. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another C++ class. We're going to add another player controller. So by default, when you spawn into the game, you're going to have a player controller. We're going to add another player controller that will be spawned in for playing back the footage. Unreal actually does this for you, and I'll show you how this works. So we're going to say, um, we'll just call it the replay player controller. And inside the replay player controller, we're just going to add a blueprint callable function. And I'm just going to say restart recording. So let's implement this function by uh, creating an implementation, or you can just type this out manually. So what we're going to do inside of this function is we're basically going to grab the world, check if there is a demo net driver, and if there is a valid one, just tell it to go to the start of its recording. We will also need to include a couple of header files here. And so let me show you how to use this function we've just created. We're going to click on local Windows debugger, and then I'll show you how to get this replay player controller set up so that we can press a key to actually restart the recording. Okay, so we'll go to first person CPP. We're going to make a blueprint version of our replay player controller. And I'll call this BP underscore replay controller. So we'll open this up. So I'm just going to make it that if you press the four key on your keyboard, it's going to restart the recording. To tell Unreal Engine to use our replay controller, we need to make a new game mode. So just search for game mode and then click on your replays game mode. We're going to call this BP underscore replays game mode. And then inside of it, there's actually this option here, replay spectator player controller class. Just go ahead and select our BP replay controller. And then in the world settings, which you can go to Windows world settings to show, uh, go to game mode override and then go BP replays game mode. Now I'm going to jump into the game. I'm going to press 1 to start recording. And I'll run around and shoot a bunch of balls. I'm then going to press 2 to stop recording. And then I'm going to press 3 to watch the recording back. 
this is loading a separate level that the recording actually plays inside so if you ever want to exit the recording all you need to do is load the level up that you want to go to so now i can press four on my keyboard and you can see that the recording actually restarts from scratch i'm watching myself run around the level and shoot balls and i can press four at any time and i can totally just scrub through the footage the cool thing about that go to time in seconds function as well is that you can go anywhere in the recording if you want to skip to the end of the recording you could technically do that as well or you could scrub through the footage using uh, some UI as well and there you have it that's how to use the recording system in C++ with Unreal Engine sorry for the short video guys I was a little bit strapped for time but I wanted to put some sort of video out so anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one